Let me guess. You make a difference to your organisation or to society. Now, if the difference that you make springs from your leadership or ideas, then clearly you have a story to tell, a message to convey. But doing this requires genuine engagement, authentic communication, and the ability to open people's minds. If we're staying on a beautiful tropical island for a few days, I think we should always consider the environment. For example, if you find one of these in that little fridge in your minibar, drink the contents and then fill it up again from the tap. Screw on the pink lid and pop it back into the fridge. Always leave the environment just the way you found it. Okay? Hello and welcome to Wondrous Wilds of the BWS Store. In this series, we will bring you never before recorded insights into the intriguing activities of the inhabitants of this vast savannah. Follow me. In the wilds of the store environment, it's a competition of wits where only the most observant and able are successful. After a long winter, the warmer weather arrives at the BWS store. Here is man preparing for the most significant of rituals, the barbecue. I've been watching Frank, a member of the know-it-all tribe, for some time now. You know, I really think that I really think that it's, it's, it's probably best that Mum died before the drought. Because I reckon it would have killed her. Uh, I'm not, not through lack of water. She always would have had a drink. She used to have a drink, all right. That uh, would have been the worry. She would have worried herself to death about how the farmers, you know, how the drought would have affected the farmers. But it wasn't worry that finished her off in the end. No. She was hit by meals on wheels. Uh, Mum and her chicken schnitzel both went cold together. And it goes right down, of course, where the whales go, they go where the krill live. Because they like eating krill. They go down, by the time they get set, this is starting to break down and the kitchen scraps are starting to filter out like that. And you know what? The krill's eyes light up. Because you see, krill normally, what they what they do is they just eat algae and plankton and day after day after day. It's no wonder krill looks so bored. What he said when something like this, he said, I'd just been down to the TAB and the RSL where I met an MD with a BSC who'd been in the RAAF and ended up as a POW back in 43. Well, the CIA heard his SOS, got him out and took him back via the UK to the USA with JFK. But as they're going through HQ about the pass on R&R, &R, the SSK owed him with some TNT. Because they gave him a VC and an OBE, then later on he became a QC and then a CEO up in the ACT. Now he's a real VIP. But when he was just two IC, he met this A1 bird outside the YWCA. She had a high IQ, knew all about IT and equals MC squared. Just finished the VC and was studying for a PhD at RMIT and hoped to get a job at IBM, BHP, CRA, ICI or the ANZ. None of which, of course, should be confused with the NRMA, the RACV or the ACTU. The only thing wrong with her, though, she was an RC with a bit of BO. So it... <laughs> It has been suggested that as Adelaide becomes more and more of a sophisticated defence hub, it will attract increased interest from overseas spies. Now this, is, this of course is undoubtedly true, it goes without saying. However, think of the upside to this. Just like everybody else, spies need to eat, they need somewhere to sleep, they, they need somewhere to send their children to school. Spying can be good business, <laughs> even for those being spied upon. One final innovation concerns the recently discovered medicinal properties of coke with lime. Importantly, these medicinal properties are particularly effective when combined with the healing powers of the llama coal. Now, just in case a potentially 
life-threatening disease is lurking inside any of you good folk in our audience today. I would now like to demonstrate the Lamb of Call so that you too may benefit from its power. Does anybody feel better? 